The way I spit my game when I'm leaving the... Welcome to New Jersey. Many of New Jersey's miles are made up of streets and roadways. And what this is doing is giving our nowhere to live. Where would they go? Where are they staying? In this video, you'll find out. Should we really be standing wide and proud for what we're doing? Do you even realize what is going on? Many of our wildlife is forced to live in places that they really shouldn't be living in. Open lots is not an actual habitat for our And either is behind big corporate businesses, like delicious places where you can get delicious food, like Grillin' on 9, where they have delicious hot dogs, delicious subs, and everything and more at one place at a low price. They should not be living here. But where are they really living? now that they have no place to go marine animals and land animals now share one home at the Matisquan Reservoir in the Monmouth County area the Matisquan Reservoir lies in the central area of New Jersey and not only is this one of the largest reservoirs in New Jersey but it's also the most important supplier for all of our water. And before we start, you're probably wondering what a reservoir is. Well, most of the time, a reservoir refers to an artificial lake, which is used to store water for various uses. Now, reservoirs are created first by building a sturdy dam, usually out of cement, earth, rock or a mixture of all the three. Once the dam is completed, a stream is allowed to flow behind it and eventually fill to a capacity. Reservoirs exist in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and can be either natural or man-made. Reservoirs are used for many different things. Sometimes they hold they used to hold water for domestic, agricultural, and industrial use, particularly as drinking water. Commonly, if we ever have a drought in the Monmouth County area, the Madisquan Reservoir would supply us with water. Another use that the reservoir is used for is to hold water to power machinery such as a water mill or to generate electricity or store electricity. Now if you look behind me now you'll see a great view of the Madison Reservoir. You know, it's a great, you know, great reservoir. Just in case you know if we ever do run out of water in the Mount County area, you know we do have a backup plan. Another use that it was for would supply us with water to a canal system. Now another thing about reservoirs is that we used to hold water that would flood a community sometimes. Not our reservoir in particular. But we also we can also control it so where it can be slowly released or kept. It's known as a tunation. Now if you look at the trees here behind you will see the reservoir. If for any reason um you know, if for any reason that the water would overflow, it would come over the edge. Now you never know how many organisms live around a reservoir because reservoirs have their own ecosystem. Reservoirs may have a secondary use other than the primary use and it could include just holding fish or other animals and organisms that live around the reservoir. Also, people use the reservoir for leisure such as sailing, fishing, water skiing, and more. I mean, you always see people running and riding bikes just for exercise. It's a nice place to hang out. Um, when it comes down to the construction of reservoirs, strictly speaking, the reservoir is just a storage area created by the construction of a dam. But in general parlance, the two terms are interchangeable. But the two basic types of reservoirs the commonly seen dam across the valley 
and then the less common fully done. Damn. Now a fully bonded dam that has a continuous man-made embankment around its entire perimeter, most commonly using central clay core as the waterproof element. The core is held in place by earth rock piled in either side in the suitable volumes to resist the outward forces by exerted water. The clay is joined directly to the natural underlying material, which itself is usually clay in the order for the dam to be watertight. The reservoir is filled by mechanical pumps that draw water from an adjacent water course such as a river. A watertight roof is added, then this dam can be used for storing treated water before it goes to the tap known as the service reservoir. Some of the largest reservoirs in the world, like Lake Volta in Western Africa, cover around 8,500 kilometers. Laka is North Europe's largest artificial lake, which is 417 kilometers in size. Melismia in Western Europe, largest artificial lake in Europe, is 1,250 kilometers in size. Reservoir takes up, covers most of the old mangrove forest in Monmouth County. As you can see over here, they are filling up most of the swamp area with uh, new land. So the past 20 years, they filled up some of this area with a road for transportation. It used to be water, and it was like a reservoir. A long time ago, even the mangroves used to be here too. Yeah, baby, yeah! The water in front of me is one of the most highest quality in all of New Jersey. Yeah. Not only can you drink this water, but the homeless people of Howell Township can even bathe in that water. That's how clean that is. It's the main source of water for all of Monmouth County. Pretty big, so I think so. Yeah, man! Now, all of the plant life here at the Madisquan Reservoir oh, not a real branch. Look lives at the branch. all together it's green. in one environment. Alright, so I'm here to tell you about the marine life in the Madisquan Reservoir. It basically consists of nothing but trout, catfish, pickler, pickler fish, and sunny. And there's also, be also known cases of humongous snapping tortoises. Now, most of the fish found in this reservoir feed off of other small fish, worms, and... Now other animals found around this marine environment are mostly deer, blue jays, and chipmunks. The deers find it such a great place to live because it's actually a non-hunting area. Not only does the Matisquan Reservoir house over thousands of different marine environment animals, it also houses land animals. This is one of the most cleanest areas around Monmouth County, but each year the pollution levels ratings are slightly increasing, so Madisquan Reservoir consists of gallons and gallons of water. As you can see, many people drink this water. However, if you drink it right from right. Well, now we're going to see if we can get us and you guys there at home close enough to these animals in the reservoir to see what they're all about. It's a little too cold to find anything today, folks, so we're going to see if we can come back another day. Maybe when it's warmer out in the spring and get you guys something. <laughs> oh my god. 
Don't push. Yeah, don't try. <laughs> Damn, dude, I got lucky.